shopping this today. Look. I know I gotta do it right there. That's my um my signature spot. Fresh coffee and bagels too A new day is waiting for us We got lots of fun stuff to do Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys I can lend them your baseball cap Let's make the day a bear and a fun Growing up is just a trap Just a bit fat trail. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. It looks really weird. It looks really bright. My hair looks really shiny right here. <laughs> anyway, hey guys. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm downstairs. It's about uh, 3.18. And I'm going to just try to work on something. I don't know what have a headache and I've had a headache so last night I spent the entire evening it was dark out even um, weeding my garden which is still it needs it needs some serious help but I get these little these little grassy really wiry um, things that grow and it's like it makes a little there's one over here and they connect and there's one over you know what I mean it's like viney I guess I don't know how else to describe it but it's like they're taking over so I'm like no no you're not so first I tried I first I watered my garden so make the soil soft and so then I started to pull some of them up just so hard to pull up and then I ended up taking my the little three comb thing three you know I'm trying to get it up that way and I'm like why don't I use my shovel so I was using the shovel first I was like digging them up and then pulling them up and then I could just pull it out of the grass or put it up pull it out of the dirt and then throw it and that was just taking forever so I just started taking my shovel and like cutting it and then I fling it and I cut it and I fling it I'm like anyway so I did that for a long time and needless to say this morning I was sore but I was like I don't know I don't know if I just slept in a one weird position or whatever but my entire back was hurting my entire upper shoulders was hurting hurting my arms was hurting and I had a headache I could already feel it so when I got up it was probably 6 30 I'm like okay I am going to go and take it Tylenol. So I took two Tylenol and then I didn't let the goats, I didn't feed the, I was going to say let the goats out. I didn't feed the goats. I didn't let the chickens out. I didn't do anything this morning. Not until 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is when I got out of bed. Um, so I went back to bed and I went to sleep and look, you guys, eight and a half hours of sleep. Eight and a half. Um, probably why I feel like crap. I, I, I'm, I'm not a person that can sleep a long period of time. If I get over eight hours, I feel yucky. If I sleep, my sweet spot is like 
six and a half hours six and a half to seven hours that is my that's my good that's a good amount of sleep for me um i just can't i just can't i when i was younger i could i could probably sleep 12 13 hours and wake up and feel great but it doesn't it's not that way for me now and now it's like you know if i go to bed at let's say 1 a.m and get up at 7 a.m i'm good i know sounds weird um, if I go to bed at 2 a.m. and if I get up, let's say 7 a.m. and then go back to sleep for an hour, I'm still good. But I just can't do a long stretch of sleep. But anyway, so I'm desperate. I'm going to try to get some work done. I'm caught up, but I'm still getting emails of when my order going to ship? When's my order? Nothing is overdue. Everything's all good, if, you know, but you get those people. Um... But I did talk to Janera today. Hey, girl. Talked to her for a little while and then um, ate some lunch. And here I am. Turning's down here with me. I think I'm going to do burgers on the grill just because I don't feel that great. And I was like, what am I going to make for dinner? Um, I still have some chicken I can do something with. Last night, chicken... Um, I was gonna say nachos, not chicken, chicken, chicken and dumplings. Guys, that stuff is amazing, and it doesn't take that long to make. And it's actually, it's not that hard. It's not that hard, guys. So if you want the recipe, go to yesterday's video. I'm gonna try to link it in the thing. Um, I got the, I got the recipe off from online, but I cook mine longer. Cause I think there was just like two minutes or something like that. So I'm just gonna put what I made mine, how I made mine. I cooked mine for 13 on high. First I sauteed my onions and my celery. This one doesn't tell you to saute your celery, but I like mine sauteed. So I sauteed my onions and my celery together. And then I added a cup, not a cup, a whole container, the square containers of chicken broth. I added that and then I added um, my carrots and my chicken and then my I already had my seasonings in there and then I cooked it at high pressure for I think 13 I'm pretty sure it was like 13 minutes and then release did the quick release yeah I'm talking all fancy cuz I want a pressure uh, instant pot <laughs> um, but then and then I just put it on saute and let it bring back up to a boil and added my biscuits and then added my um, whipping cream that reminds me so I usually buy my whipping cream at Walmart and I usually buy the little tiny ones and I'm forever always buying little tiny whipping creams for this that or another thing um so this last time I bought like the big jug like the big one you know like that tall the pint maybe um so I bought that one and it was like four dollars or something so I was like, all right, well, there's a few recipes I was going to make. One being the chicken and dumplings. Why can't I remember that? And then when we were at Aldi's, they had heavy whipping cream. And it was like almost two, it was like $1.79 or something for the little one. And I was like, wow, that's a good price because um, it's like two seventy nine or something at Walmart. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. So I got one. And so when I went to make it, I like poured it. I don't know if I showed the video. If not, I'm going to have some here. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how the footage is. But um, but when I poured it, it like drizzled and then there was a chunk. And I'm like, what the fudge? <laughs> so I was like, and I smelled it and it smelled a little sour. So... I bought sour whipping cream from all, I was going to say Aldi's. Did I say Aldi's? I meant Lidl. Anyway, I didn't save nothing. I ended up wasting money. That's what I did. But anyway, I'm going to try to get something done. I don't know what. I just feel like I need to do something even though I don't have internet right now. Alexa. I don't know. Alexa. She's working. When I don't have internet, she'll say, oh, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet right now. 
Alexa, where's my stuff? Here are your deliveries. One delivery arrived today. One delivery will arrive on Thursday, June oh, my 11. stuff is here. I need to go find it. Speedy delivery. Look at all this delicious hay journey. You can just graze all you want to, Sam. <laughs> I was going to hit the tree. Leave him alone. Journey, come over here. Just let him eat, Sterling. For this recipe, you need a yellow cake. So you combine, combine your cake mix, and you need four large eggs. Hold on one second. Okay. So I need one yellow cake mix, I need four eggs. Okay. Now also need a fourth cup of sugar. I got it right here. I'm just gonna eyeball this because I just have a cup. Okay. I mean, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, about there. Okay, fourth cup of sugar, and I need a 
third cup of oil. This I will measure. And now you mix all that together. And you're supposed to bake it. I don't know. I might do it in this, but you're supposed to bake it. It's one of those ones that are in layers, you know what I mean? A layer of cake, a layer of, um, like, a cheesy kind of cool whoopy frosting and then strawberries and then a layer and layer layer so I think I'm just going to do I'm either gonna do two round cakes or I'm gonna do this one I forgot my water hold on there we go much better I think I'll do the round pans this sparkling water that we bought at Aldi, I always say Aldi's, Lidl, it's actually not that bad. Um, I still prefer the Tangerine LaCroix, but anyway, um, so the, the strawberry, it was called Fresh Strawberry Cake is what it was called, and the recipe came from um, probably... I want to say about maybe eight years ago um, our church put together a little cookbook and it was like you know recipes that were passed down family recipes whatever and they made a little cookbook out of it and so that came out of the cookbook and I followed the recipe now I think it might have been a little bit different if I were to use like actual like cool whip whipped cream but I made my own whipped cream so I think that's where it went a little haywire and I'm like how I don't know it was, it was sloppy and I was I was cracking up laughing you guys I was like this thing isn't gonna win no awards for beauty it was ugly but number one um it was delicious. It really was. It was, it was, it was, it was good. Everybody, everybody loved it. I was like, this is so good. But I think now it was actually supposed to be three layers of cake. So there were supposed to be thinner layers and I didn't have an extra pan. So I just did two. But I think that if you just made the cake 
and then had the stuff and did it kind of like a um like a strawberry shortcake i think it would just it would have been fine it would have been less messy cutting and serving as well um but yeah like it it was so good it the cake was nice and moist and a little bit spongy and it was good and then the stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the sour cream mixed in i've never made a cake with sour cream before so i was kind of like oh <laughs> sour cream you don't mean cream cheese because i used cream cheese before but not anyway um but yeah it was really really good i'm gonna leave a recipe down below um but like i said if you decide to make something or make a version of it whatever um i would probably use like whipped cream like actual cool whip um that might make a huge difference i don't know um and or if you just make the cake part and then mix up the stuff which was the sour cream powdered sugar um the strawberries um and the whipped cream the cool whip or whatever um just mix that up in a bowl and then just kind of serve it like you know you know what i mean kind of like you do where you just put it on top like I think it'd be really good anyway but yeah it was it was delicious it really was everybody loved it and I was like what should I do with the rest of this because we ate like probably three-fourths of it and he's like my husband's like well you can't throw it out because that stuff is good <laughs> I was like well I didn't know and so yeah but we have Alyssa here so if you're wondering that <laughs> me and my journey had a little bit but she didn't I don't know she just wasn't in the mood to eat it so technically her piece got wasted but Sterling and Alyssa and my husband and myself we really did enjoy it so anyway I'm downstairs I am working on shirt number three I already made uh -huh. two one of which <laughs> One of which is right here. This goes with the ribbon trim, which I was hoping I would get made this tonight. So that set can go out tomorrow, but I might actually make it tomorrow morning when I get up. And then I made this, oops, this shirt, which is done. I just have to tender touch it, which I'm going to do in the morning. And then I'm making another Rapunzel because um, I have one coming up that's due to ship out sometime next week. But I'm like, you know what? It's already set up. I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. And then tomorrow I will work on some of these ribbon trims. I've got three of them, but um, I think the ship dates are two of them are sh supposed to ship Monday. One is supposed to ship on the 10th, which is what Wednesday. So I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get things done and out of the way. And yeah, we got the ba bale of hay and. That should last my goats for a little while. They're also, um, they got that hay. I also have their alfalfa hay. Um, and things are coming together. I can't wait to get their little thing built. We have to make, um, plans for that. And then, oh, we did get the van back. Um, it was the alternator that went out on our van. And we had that replaced like a year ago, so... They just charge us uh, for the labor, which is like 150 bucks. So that's not that bad. I mean, good thing. Good thing it, you know, we caught it. We weren't like somewhere crazy and caught, you know, and it caught us off guard and we have to get towed again because that really sucked last time that happened. And yeah, yeah. For dinner, we just did hamburgers on the grill and I made the pasta salad one of those little suddenly salad sides um it was the one that you mix with the oil and it's like vinegary kind of that one Sterling loves that one like Sterling will polish that thing off so, and she did um, but journey doesn't care for that one journey likes the one with the bacon ranch one that's the one she likes and then we had big beans which Journey loves baked beans. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I just have this shirt I just tucked down my hair. The Rapunzel hair. Is it gonna focus? Focus. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that.
up for tonight and cut it out tomorrow because Journey's down here. It is 11.57 and she is tired. And y'all, I got eight hours of sleep. I still can't believe that. I never get eight hours of sleep. So I'm like, you know what? It's, it's 12 o'clock now. If I go to bed and get up at 7, I'm going to get like seven hours of sleep. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I can come down here and work. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh, and I just want to tell Angela, because you're watching this probably after everything, but y'all, you know I'm praying for you. Right now she is in the hospital, and the saddest part is like she has to be away from everybody because they won't let Keenan or anybody be there because of, you know, the virus and stuff. So, but I'm glad that you went to the doctor. I'm glad you, you know, because, you know, I'm not going to spill all her business. I had people messaging me, asking me, but, you know, I just think, you know, I mean, I can say, hey, she's, she, she's okay, or I don't, you know, I just, I don't feel right spilling other people's business. Like, um, like if I was in the hospital and somebody asked her, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. But, yeah. <sighs> but I'm glad that she's able to get it taken care of. And, yeah, she didn't get any sicker than what she was. Cause that's a scary thing as a mom being sick and having to take care of your kids and then if you get really sick you're like oh my goodness and how am I gonna do this and, and then she runs all her businesses maybe it's God just saying whoa girl slow down a little bit take you a little time get you a little sleep in <laughs> but anyway um, yeah I'm gonna head up to bed Jerry's right here she's came up and got on my lap and then almost passed out and I said here let me turn this stuff off so she went into that little rock and play <laughs> she just fell asleep I can keep on working I'm going to bed thanks for watching guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all tomorrow bye